What's up, everybody? It's JT Sports back to you guys with some breaking news. So the New York Giants have signed former Minnesota Vikings right tackle Mike Rimmers. Now, right, Mike Rimmers, now he doesn't, he's not a great offensive tackle. He's just a, he's a solid starter. He's an upgrade from whoever the New York Giants had playing at that right tackle position last year. Um, he's not terrible, but he's not good neither. He's just a average starter at best. And I guess the Minnesota Vikings they chose to part ways with him because that off the line was freaking terrible. And I guess he had a very very terrible season. But other from this season, he's been a pretty okay offensive tackle in the NFL. I mean, he improves the offensive line, but not dramatically. But now. This New York Giants offensive line, Dave Gilliman has now made this New York Giants offensive line respectable, and he has changed this identity of the New York Giants. Now it's not about Odell Beckham trying to find ways to get Odell Beckham the ball anymore, because now he's gone. He's been shipped out of town. It's now all about running the football. This New York Giants team is now geared towards the trenches, and that's going to be how the New York Giants are going to win and lose their games, how effectively they're able to establish the run and win down low in the trenches. Because at the end of the day, people can make this new modern-day NFL all about the perimeter players, the wide receivers, the cornerbacks, but it's not about that. NFL games are still won and lost by which team wins and dominates the trenches. What did the New England Patriots do in the Super Bowl? They dominated the L.A. Rams up front on both sides of the football, and that's why they won the doggone football game. Now it's okay to have nice wide receivers, flashy corners and whatnot, but the game is still won up front. And the teams that had the better offensive lines in the NFL this year were the remaining teams that ended up going on to the playoffs. We saw the Seattle Seahawks, they had an improved offensive line, the Philadelphia Eagles, also, the L.A. Rams, the Kansas City Chiefs, the New England Patriots, the Dallas Cowboys all have great offensive lines, and that's why they were in the playoffs besides Seattle. Seattle's offensive line is still a work in progress, but it was more improved from what it was the previous year. So the New York Giants, back to them, signing my Rimmers, or Rimmers, that improves the offensive line, and now it's Saquon's team anymore. So now you have the quarterback controversy, which I don't think is any controversy at all. You have Eli Manning back there who had 20 touchdowns and 11 interceptions. He wasn't terrible. He was pretty solid at best. So now you're going to tell Eli Manning, look, we're not counting on you to win the game for us or lead us to the playoffs. We're counting on you to do your job and do what you got to do to help us win games. But this is Saquon's team now. So you're not going to ask Eli Manning to put the team on his shoulders and win. You're asking Saquon Barkley. You're going to give him about 30 carries a game and you're going to work him down into the ground and you're going to make Saquon Barkley the focal point of your offense. It's Saquon Barkley's team now. Odell Beckham Jr. is gone. It's not about trying to get Odell Beckham on the ball anymore. It's about giving Saquon Barkley 30 carries a game and letting him carry your team to wins. And that's how this New York Giants team has been rebuilt. I think this is what Dave Gunnerman has been planning all along. I mean, now you have Nate Soldier, you have Will Hernandez, you have whoever they have starting at center, either John Halippo or Spencer Pulley. Then at right guard, you have Kevin Zeitler. Then at right tackle, you have Mike Rimmer. So interested in seeing you guys' thoughts on this signing. Let me know what you guys think down in the comment section down below. Make sure to like the video and subscribe for more NFL videos and content. And thanks for watching.